Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome to another Ice Academy YouTube video. My name is MC Ice and today we are going to talk about A site on Mirage. A site on Mirage is uh, a hard but also an easy site to take control over because there are a lot of smokes you can use, you can have an advantage of, um, you can make an advantage of, and we are going to discuss, we are going to explain, or I'm going to explain how to smoke off stairs, how to smoke off jungle slash cross smoke or even connector smoke. How to smoke CT on two ways and some other little handy smokes were not necessarily, but eh, you can use them. All right, let's hop into the first smoke. So the first smoke is a very easy smoke. Is the most one of the most common smokes is of course the CT smoke. What you're gonna do is you're gonna aim exactly in the middle of this door. You're gonna turn around. And you see this edge right here. So this line. You're gonna aim exactly where the dark line meets the edge and a little bit more to the left and you're gonna do a jump throw. This way the smoke will bounce off that box and it will end exactly at CT. As you can see there's no gap whatsoever. A little tiny gap right here but as soon as you go towards the, the bomb site so if you want to plant right here um, it's you're not visible anymore um, and you don't need to worry about this one right here. As the smoke disappears, um, if you jump up, you still cannot see anything until you walk straight forward. But if you walk forward, um, you're able to see that guy right there. Um, so that's the first way. The second way I'm gonna exp I'm gonna show you right now. Um, the second way is the the one I like to use the most, um, and I will explain why when I throw it. First of all, it's not a jump throw, so the smoke is way more consistent. And what this allows you to do, what this allows is that if there's a player at um, a triple box, he will not see you. So if the smoke will land here and the player at triple, he just can or right peak or left peak. Um, and this way you will block off the right side. So there's of course another smoke to throw it exactly right here or even here. But it's for, uh, for the next one. Um, if you throw it right here, he has no, he has no vision on on the on the right side or either the left side. So these are the two smokes you can throw. Um, so either it is one jump throw right here. A jump throw is not consistent because it's a jump throw, and of course the normal one I like to throw. Um, depends on what you like. I like this one better. Um, as you can see. This is CT smoke, and this is the uh, the side smoke, is what I call it, just a side smoke. Um, personally, I think this smoke gives you more control um, over a site, because you can rush in and just like plant the bomb right here, but wait, if you plant it too early, the CTs can take advantage of the, of the smoke that you just throw, because you, um, if you plant the smoke, they can sit right here and just defuse that thing. Um, so wait until the smoke starts to fade, Plant the bomb and then fall back, um, so you have enough time to see the diffuser um, diffuse if he's diffusing, of course. Um, so yeah, these two are the most common smokes, or the CT smoke is the most common one. I like to throw this one um, because I believe I think it gives you more side control. Um, but that's it for these ones. Let's hop into the next one. All right, so the second smoke is what I believe one of the most important smokes. Um, this smoke can deny if you if you mess this one up it can deny your whole push um it's of course the jungle slash connector smoke what you need to do is um it's very easy to mess this one up what you need to do is you go to the you go to this thing right here i don't know what it's called in english but you go to this thing right here what you need to do is you go halfway down and just throw it just just normal throw it. It's very easy to do. Is don't not do not jump throw or whatever. As you can see, there's no gap whatsoever. Um, nine out of ten times, um, people will mess this one up, and will leave a tiny gap. Let's wait for the smoke to disappear. So, for example, if you throw it on top, if you're gonna throw it like this. Oh, I messed that one completely up. I need to do more to the left. Um, like, so. There you go. Um, it will leave a, a gap, like so. And Connector is still able to see you if you want to have a CT plan, for example. 
or maybe even a ramp plant. Um, connector can still see you, and jungle, it's very easy for jungle just to walk up and just like spot you from here, or even do this. So it's very important, this, th again, this smoke can make or break your, your whole push. Go in the middle of this pillar right here, turn around, stand up. What you need to do is um, go close to that thing, to that little, I don't know, let's call it dildo. <laughs> to this dildo right here and go low, so go halfway down and just throw it. Oh, crap, a little bit more to the right, there you go. If you do it correctly and not mess it up like I did, the smoke will bounce off this edge, this, this stair edge, into the wall and it will land exactly in the middle. And as you can see, there's no way that people can see you or easy see you. Um, of course, you can jump out, um, still decay that shit, but it's it, when you do, you're in the air and um, we have time just to flick to the right and when you come down, mow you down. So yeah, that's the second one. Um, and I still believe it's one of the most important ones. Um, you can choose to smoke it independently. So throw smoke here and throw smoke there. Um, but at the end, you will lose approximately three smokes. Because you have jungle, you have connector, but you also have stairs. So you need three smokes to block it off. And if you throw this one right here, you only need two. So you only need the cross smoke, so the jungle connector smoke. And of course, the stair smoke. Um, and that's the one I'm going to explain. Yeah. Alright, so the stair smoke is again a smoke that can make or break your push. Um, like I explained, it's very easy for jungle just to push up. And of course, mow you down from here. Um, the only thing that stairs need to worry about is of course the, the palace push. So if you, if, if, if you time it right, you can mow him down. And you don't need a smoke, but you... If you want to be sure, just throw the smoke. Of course, it's like a dull situation, but if you need it, throw it. Yeah, no shit. Um, all right, what you need to do is you jump on this edge right here. You're going to aim up, and you see this little gap right there. Th it's very easy. You see this red, the black dot right here? You're going to aim exactly in the middle of this one. Just let it go. So in the middle of this whole thing, approximately... Th at the same height as the black dot, you're gonna let it go, and the smoke will land exactly on stairs. And if you have the second smoke that I explained, there's no way they can see you cross. No way. Um, there's a tiny gap right here, but there's there's no way that they can see you. Um, so again, this smoke can make or break your whole push. Um, I've aced a lot of teams just like just by sitting here with my op. And just like peek, that's one, that's two, that's three, and it's it's very easy, it's very simple. As long as you have one uh, close here, so if if you if they try to push, sorry, English is hard today. If they try to push out like so to mow you down, and you have one still in jungle, like sitting here, relaxing. You have nothing to worry about, and you can age clutch them very easy. Um, so again, I'm gonna explain it one more time. You're gonna jump up this edge, stand up at the black dot in the middle, let go. It will bounce off here and then land right there. There you go. Exactly in the middle. Perfect. Perfect example of a perfect smoke. And as you can see, there's nothing. There's nothing you uh, you can do about this one. If it if it touches the 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 platform, there's nothing you can do about it. All right, let's hop into the third one. Okay, so the final smoke is um, a little bit of a tricky smoke. It's a view model smoke. Um, so you need to figure this one out for yourself. Well, what you need to do is you need to line yourself, line yourself up. I'm so sorry. I don't know what is going on today, but English is so hard right now. I have no clue why, but it's very hard. All right, listen. You need to line yourself up with this line right here. You're gonna turn around, cock the smoke. What you need to do is place your um, your point finger, your pointy finger. I don't know what what is your yeah your point finger. Um, line your point finger up with with um, this edge, so this line. And what you need to do is you need to make one step forward, 
and throw the smoke. This smoke will land exactly right there. And as you can see, it will block off the firebox. And of course, default. But it will also block off dark. But, 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 but. There's a big but. Big but? There's a big but. That is, there is a little tiny gap right here. So they can see you cross. So what you can do is throw a Molotov. Uh, let's see if I can buy one. Throw a Molotov right there. Oh, crap. Right there. This forces that guy that will a that will make advantage of that 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 smoke. So if I'm gonna throw it up, so you need to send at least one guy palace, like so. Make one step forward. If you go up, it forces the guy away from that edge. So you're one hundred percent sure, sure that um, that under is clear, and you have sight control. So you need a smoke, and you need a, you need one Molotov to to throw from this this angle right here. Um, Pellets can do that as well. There's a very easy trick to line that one up. Oh, if I do it right, this is a very easy trick to do that one. Um, to throw consistently um, because sometimes they will smoke it off and you have no vision what to do or where to aim so you can like send them in this corner aim right there just walk backwards in that, into that corner and you don't even have to line anything up um, it, it, it is a consistent one of stuff if you throw it like that um, so again it's a very tricky smoke it's a view model smoke if you Change your view model. Mine is it's just default. Um, just line yourself up with this line. Turn around. Like the knuckle of your point finger on that line. One step forward. It will bounce off right there. There you go. It's, it is an inconsistent smoke though. Because you um, you make a step. So if you throw it, if you let it go too late, it will land, land too far. So it's like a tiny, tiny step. There you go. That's that's perfect. Um, and of course, the mono. And you, you are almost 100% sure that it's clear. All right, I'm gonna throw all the smokes together, and you will see why this is one of the best ways to take side control on a. Alright guys, so here are all the smokes. Um, first, I have to apologize. I was listening back to the pre-recordings. And I I heard that my mics were clipping. So I'm sorry for that. When the smoke are disappearing. Um, we're gonna start. I'm gonna throw them again for you guys. So that's... First things first. I'm sorry for for the loudness of my microphone. It's, I should be better now. Um, if not, please let me know. Alright guys. As you can see, this... These are all the CT smokes, all the, the, the A site smokes, all the T smokes, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. So exactly five smokes. You can time it all with your teammates. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. It's very easy. It's very simple. The only thing you need to do is time it with your teammates because one smoke will explode earlier than the other one. Um, and of course, the only thing you need to worry about is get right or sandwich. And of course, underwood, shadow. Um, so you need to throw a Molotov right there. Um, you can either do that from uh, the ramp push or from palace itself. All right, guys. That's it for me for today. If you have any other questions, please hit me down below in the description uh, or in the comments. I'm sorry. Again, guys, English is hard today. I don't know why, but it's very hard. Hit me down in the comments and I will try to answer any question, every question you have. If you have another question about another map, please hit me up and I will try to explain it in another video next time. Um, if you like the series, hit a thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit a thumbs down, but also explain why you don't like it. Um, that's it for me for today. They call me Ice and I will see you guys all next in the next video. See you.